Very good. How are you? Fine. <laughs> um, I'm happy to speak with you about this album. It's a great album. Um, so, so we are here to talk about this second album. Uh, I found um, much uh, darker than the previous one. Uh, is it right? I think, yes, I think you are right. It's a little bit more dark. It's mm -hmm. a little bit more metal, I, I want to say. Yeah. Um, the, the first record was a little bit more mixed. And um, and this one is, I think it's become a little bit more mature and um, it has more of the really uh, metal power up-tempo songs, mm -hmm. which makes it uh, feel uh, more energetic in, in my opinion. And um, yeah, it was, it, it was our goal to sound a little bit more mature and more metal not necessarily more dark, but it's a it's a good observation. Yes. Uh, when I saw your videos, uh, Vengeance, and it's, um, the, the first one, uh, My Yet Will Go On, um, it's a story, Shenso 2. Uh, is it a link uh, between the two videos? Not really, no. no, it's not really a link, but um, especially for My Hate Will Go On, it was very important to us since the title is um, a little humorous mm -hmm. with the, you know, Titanic, Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On reference, mm -hmm. but it really means it's a really important topic to us that um, hate is not the way today that it's not it doesn't help to just hate each other or to just fight each other or kill each other and this is a very um important topic to me um to have this to have the music video of the story of course like um my the young me uh yes. growing <laughs> up a little bit like you know batman seeing his parents uh, get murdered mm. and then him or her or me in that case, <laughs> trying all my life to, to seek revenge. But in the end, everybody is dead, you know? And it doesn't help anybody if you just fight and go an eye for an eye. And, um, and this is what we also wanna say with League of Distortion. We don't say it directly, maybe, but people who watch it and who understand our meaning and our lyrics and our, our music videos, they understand uh, that this is what we mean. Don't fight each other, don't kill each other, don't hate each other, but let peace and let communication and let open-mindedness take over. Okay, and for Chen, Chen Su, uh, for so different, different. In yes. the forest and <laughs> and for for chainsaw it was very important to to us that the guy you know the business guy mm -hmm. we wanted him to be even more negative he, he stands for the people out there who only think about themselves who yell at other people about a problem maybe they've had or they've done um who uh just give it give don't treat other people uh well and um and they're up there you know they're in the business rig they're there there's many people who are very very successful who are just not good people and that is something we criticize and we um hope and I do believe in karma I do believe that people who are really bad they will get the payback from from somewhere else and you know the monster in the woods <laughs> is 
like from a different level is like from a different um uh spirit and it comes to to uh to uh, kill him in the end but it's more it's more of a karma karma yes. feeling than than feeling like there's there's uh scary uh women running around in the woods and killing people it's a symbolic <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> Um, and the last video, it's uh, more classic mm -hmm. because we we can see you live mm -hmm. <laughs> and very energetic, galvanized. <laughs> yes, this was also, um, I mean, I love music videos. I've um, recognized this for me. We can underline the lyrics and the meaning with a good music video and I love to be in different roles and we work with the great team a great makeup artist but we also wanted to have something a little bit more classy with galvanize like you said the live energy the just performing and um and that's also we want to want to have you know a diversity of videos oh, cute. <laughs> <laughs> a, di a diversity of videos um on on our um band page and when people get to know us and they see galvanized for the first time yes and then they dig more and then they see all these other cinematic videos also like wolf or lamb with the wolves and um we just like to have many facets yeah, yes it's different from the previous one uh as you say more metal um, maybe the lyrics are more personal I think the lyrics are more also a little bit more mature I I thought about that um, when talking to people in interviews um, the first record was more about my feelings and also from the past years um, because I wanted to um, start League of Distortion way earlier, but I just didn't find the time. And there was all this past emotions I, I dug up and I put into the first record. And this is a little bit more open to the world, in my opinion. It, it's more about politics or, or news or, or what's going on in the world. Um, So it's, in my opinion, it opens up a little bit more. And you change your way to compose for this album uh, with the other musicians or, or it's the same? This actually stayed the same. Um, the only difference was that we didn't have so much time <laughs> like for the first record. Um, because we were on tour a lot. We played festivals mm -hmm. and we had the ideas and worked on, on riffs and ideas, but then it was like, we need to find time to go in the studio. <laughs> and that was one of the main differences in the creative process. But we still have our great um, producer team. We mm -hmm. still have them contribute to the songwriting. We still jammed with other friends and musicians we know So this was the same uh, creative team. And some songs are more challenging to write and compose uh, than others. Yes, yes, yeah. definitely. For me, Galvanize was a kind of a harder song, um, especially when it comes to the lyrics, because I wanted the word is a little bit um, more open. It's not in everybody's vocabulary. And I wanted it to be um, to be understood, but also a little bit um, also open for other people's um, opinions and interpretations to yeah. the song and to the to the um, theme. And I remember I I dug that up again and again when it comes to the lyrics. I went to the studio to record it, and I was like I. I can't, I, I'm not done yet with the lyrics. I need, I need to postpone this. So yeah, not always, it doesn't always go as planned. Um, 
how would you did you choose uh, one song for videos or or not yes it's always a little bit of a feeling yeah. like some we talk about um what what do you think is the best single and it's always like if everyone had their own feeling and of course you want the people out there to like the singles because you know that's mostly the first thing they hear and um but it wasn't clear it wasn't like this is definitely gonna be this we were actually ba talking back and forth the should it be maybe this or or maybe my enemy or in our dna and uh so we did have to make a decision at some point of course and uh, and you choose to make a story with two of us, two uh, of the songs, and, and maybe more uh, videos are coming. There will be uh, one more. Uh, no, two. No, nope. am I allowed to say this? <laughs> so there will be a couple <laughs> more songs before uh, before the tour. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And about the tour, when? Uh, when? <laughs> the tour will be in um, uh, November and December. Yes. And it's our first headline tour. Mm -hmm. So this is very um, special for us. And um, yes, we have great support bands we got on board. And we're really looking forward to have amazing shows for, for the people who, who come. Um, we'll only be in Germany for first, yes. but uh, maybe we'll make it possible to expand um, in, in 2025. But I'm not saying that officially <laughs> yet. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's Thank not you. far, Germany, but uh, <laughs> it's not close. <laughs> uh, maybe <laughs> some festivals uh, next year. Yes, definitely. We have a couple confirmed, and I hope there'll be even more uh, to come. Yes, and maybe outside of Germany. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And besides, you have uh, Exit uh, Eden. Yes, that's oh, also... You must... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know we can play at the same festival so theoretically it doesn't doesn't really make a difference <laughs> and for the show um it will be something special different from uh, the previous shows or yes i mean the the first thing is that it's going to be um a headline set so it will be longer yes and that makes that opens a whole new universe and approach. I'm thinking so much about inter uh, interludes or maybe you know outfit changes and everything we can like maybe um, <laughs> give to make this this show um, special and just we have so much energy on stage, but still we want to have a real you know show going on and. Um, we're not finished with planning yet. It's a work in progress, but I think it'll be really, really cool. Mm. And how do you train for shows? A long time well, ago? Or? I I like to practice uh, a lot. Yes. <laughs> so I train, I train at home. I train uh, once we have the set list, I sing the songs through just to make sure when do I breathe, when do I drink? Um, because it's not even that easy to find time, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, being the only front uh, person, the only singer, um, it's really something where I like, I have to know, okay, take your time to drink. Otherwise it's gonna be uh, very tough. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course we are rehearsing uh, with, with the band and then we, to lay everything through and think about shows so it's it's still a couple of weeks so um or it's i mean yeah it's the first yes. show is going to be in no uh, november 15th yeah yes so almost release one month yeah. yes <laughs> you're right <laughs> <laughs> 
It's still so far away. Oh no, one month. <laughs> I I gotta go. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. gasps> um and um what are your project uh, for next year? We have some some ideas. Yes. And um but nothing we can really talk about yet. But I hope they'll work out the way we plan because yeah, I mean, of course we're all really this new album and the headline tour we're so focused on that, but we really want to continue and be out there and see more people perform in front of more people and you know expand our league expand the league of league of distortion yes um do you have some um, good memories of the recording session some anecdote or... yes i mean the the thing is it was um it was a little bit tricky this time to to really find the time to go to the studio mm -hmm. because we were on tour on support tours and festivals and then um and then and then it was uh we really needed to like okay now we're we're, we're really taking the time we had many thoughts um, or many ideas we talked about but it's different if it's in your head or a memo on your phone and a uh, real production. <laughs> so I remember our uh, getting together for like a listening session where we just put together what songs, the, the status quo of the songs at the moment and, um, and celebrated and just uh, talked and just spent time and thought about how could we change the songs. That was definitely an evening um, where, where it was really, really nice memory I have um, from this creative uh, time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you like to add uh, something else about the album? Yes. I, I mean, I'm just, uh, we're just so happy that it's being released now and there's so much empowering um, empowerment on this record. I hope to give this to people because the world is um, crazy and, and terrible at the moment. And sometimes it makes you just wanna, I don't know, <laughs> crawl into a hole and just, I don't know, but we don't want the people to give up because we're all in this together. And um, with the music and with concerts and with this, with this hope of not being alone in this, We just want to give more, more strength and power to people. And of course, feel the energy at our concerts. Hopefully we'll come to France soon, maybe even to a festival. And um, yeah, just stay tuned about everything what's going on with League of Distortion. Okay. I, I hope to see you in France. <laughs> Me too. Yes. <laughs> Do you ever play in France one, one day? I, I did play, I was with Kiss and Dynamite. I was on tour, yes. I think in 2019. And we were in, we were definitely in, in a couple of, um, I think we were in France, maybe in, maybe even in more, um, in more cities. And we also played in, <laughs> in Paris with, with Camelot, with League of Distortion. Yes. Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> Okay, oh, so next time, headline. <laughs> yes, maybe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, hope to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I hope to see you too. That would be really, really nice. Yes. You, uh, I really appreciate uh, the album. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much. You're so... Welcome. We stay in touch. We you of you course. follow us, and um, and we'll come to France. Hopefully, yes. you will be there at the concert. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. You too. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.